Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Let's get the date here. It's April the 2nd, 2024 on a Tuesday. And I'm coming through again with a special edition of information I want to share. There's some reason. I'm getting a lot of impulses. And what does that mean? I'm getting a lot of spark of information or spark of uh, ideas. Stein delatosis is what we were taught. That means to get the ball rolling, get a spark of inspiration, ideas. So that's why I'm coming through with some videos back to back. Usually I, you know, I stop for a minute and, and, and you know, let things cultivate inside of me, contemplate inside of me, what I meditate on, what I ruminate on, and then, you know, I let it, I let it flow, you know? All right. So... I'm doing good like I know I should. <laughs> so many things um, are coming through, you know, when I contemplate, cultivate. And at the same time, when I start taking action uh, for, for, for certain things, let me just make sure I pull up something here. But I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently and marvelous because I am. I am. And I mean that. All right, cool. Yes, I mean that, honey. I'm doing fantastic, doing good like I know I should, you know, on this Tuesday, beautiful day outside, slight breeze, sunny, cool. I love it, you know. Um, I'm going to go out there again later today because I usually go to this park nearby. And I go out there just to stretch, you know, and relax. Yesterday, I was out there to the park, and I brought my book with me. It's for some reason I can read better outside than I can inside. Isn't that weird? So, because it's, I guess, you know, I don't know what's going on. Um, because, you know, we are in close quarters, you know, in our homes and in our environments. And so there's a possibility that once I go outside, I have a more of an expansion of of space and reality to think clearly and effectively. That's just my opinion on that. But I read better when I go outside, you know, so that that's what um, that's what I do. So I want to come on through and, and, you know, put something for you to contemplate, cultivate, properly meditate and properly ruminate on some information that I'm, you know, that I'm thinking about because I put a video, not a video, I put a podcast out this week or so about consciousness power you know the power of our consciousness and uh, how important that is to our developing and and thus to our evolution within our consciousness power we have the power to to uh, affect the innermost being of ourselves to a magnitude unheard of and definitely not talked about is that part of the the truth that's hidden from us to suggest how much power we have within ourselves to soar through the universe, you know, with our energy and with our um, um, beingness, you know, because we're spirit, we're spiritual people, you know, we're spiritual human beings. What does that mean? It just gets so it gets so caught up in a lot of rhetoric of people talking. You know, this rhetoric of people talking and backtracking, because that's what I'm noticing too, people that were just roaring out hatred and telling people that they should not exist, you know, wishing people were not uh, around, you know, hatred towards women, hatred towards people that have a different sexuality, a diff you know, a different classification of gender, race, ethnicity, their background, their cultures, you know, all that hateful rhetoric that was spewing from the mouths of people. I was just, I was, uh, I was shook. I, I was shook up, you know what I mean? I just couldn't believe it. You know, I just could not believe it. And yet these people thought, let, yet these people think they are highly knowledgeable and highly educated and so superior to others. I told you that condescending behavior and actions. You know, I said it happens with women. Well, in my experience, I experienced that a lot from women. But I noticed I'm experiencing it and hearing it on the social media platform, uh, all over, all over the place. That is coming from a lot of feminine straight males, 
And I know a lot of the feminine straight males are get angry and upset, you know, because they because not only are they feminine, they cannot manage their emotions, and yet they become extremely, extremely dangerous. And their danger and their violence is taken out on on women and children, sadly, more so children. So I just get so you know, it's 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 crazy making when you listen to it. Cause like I said, a lot of people are gonna be backtracking on their hatred speech and their hatred rhetoric because they're being exposed. They know that that's not genuinely how human beings act, but yet they be bestow themselves as above human. They have these, these certain powers and abilities and these certain powers and, and capabilities, but they have no proof of it at all, none whatsoever. Nothing to back up what the hell they're saying. So they're getting themselves exposed. And that's where I said there's going to be a separation. The separation is is more likely than none. Whereas women, biological women, need to feel safe. And they do not feel safe with these current, this current generation of so-called quote-unquote biological men. Okay? All right. I put a video out about that. I put a podcast out, like I said, about the consciousness power. And you'd be surprised what kind of power you have. And that, and you understand why is there's a, uh, has been for hundreds of years, thousands of years, an, a forceful effort to suppress that, you know, to su suppress your consciousness power and what you are able to do without the help of any third party. You don't need a third party at all to tell you these things, not even myself. What I can do and help you to do is I can guide you there. But then the path is on you. Isn't that beautiful? You know, um, because we all have to walk all, our own individual path. And I can uncover that for you and help you, just like others are attempting to do in their, in their, um, in their creativity to help people. It's not to look down on them. Okay, it's not to lecture to them. It's not to yell at them, calling them stupid, calling them morons, calling them this or that or the other. Okay, pay attention to how people are talking to you and these condescending behaviors and actions. Pay attention to that because their behaviors and actions is abusive. Okay, um, so I wanted to come through today and say something about something very special that's why I call these special editions to consider, to cultivate, contemplate, properly meditate, and properly ruminate. You know, like I said, there's I know there's there are a lot of people all over this world, all over this country, all over this universe that want to know certain things about their realities and, and about who am I, what am I, and why am I. Okay, the answers are within you, but you have to open up that consciousness by, you know, by uh, proper meditating. And those answers will be imposed to you as far as ideas and as far as, uh, you know, a certain, like I said, impulse, stroke of energy, uh, Stein de la Tosis, whatever, spark, you know, inspiration, you know. And sometimes you can find these things in, the, in, in someone's eyes, in someone's sound, and the way someone makes you feel. You can, you can find all of this in that, in a human being. Not in technology. These things can be found in a human being, believe it or not. So that's why it's so important to socialize with human beings, to interact with human beings. I know a lot of you have these type of anxieties, and, th and that's, that makes more sense than not, these certain and social anxieties when you're dealing with people because, because of the abusiveness of their language and the abusiveness the abusiveness of their sounds and tones. You know, they do not allow you, they do not necessarily see you as equal to them. They see they see themselves as powerful over you, and so they're kind of like pointing their finger at you, maybe not literally, but definitely figuratively and metaphorically via their sounds and tones. So that brings anxiety. That brings on anxiety. That makes sense to me. You know, when they're standing around, you know, usually rambling, rambling all the time and talking about, you know, stuff they have no idea what they're talking about in most cases. But it's usually condemnation. They're condemning you and asking you, well, why, why, why can't you figure this out? 
You know, even a, even a moron can figure this out. You know, talking in such a language, that's abusive. Okay, and the sooner people wake up from that, you know, the better it is for you and the repairing of your psyche from that type of abuse. And also as well to be it to be able to recognize impulses, spark, energy, or whatever you want to talk call it, of your you know, your your consciousness, your subconsciousness attempting to reach you and to help you heal. Because I told you, unless you're healed, you are still you, you you're not going to be you're not going to be allowed not so much allowed but you're not going to be taken to the next level excuse me there I had, I had breakfast and lunch and I usually do that I had breakfast and lunch and it is good you know I mean I enjoy eating I mean I enjoy that that's that's a pastime of mine but you need to he be healed otherwise you're not whole okay and once you're whole then you have other opportunities that will open up to you that might heal you, that might cause some pain and suffering and this and that and the other. So you'll deal with that la that layer of a different experiences. It's not the same experience you had as a child or as a teenager or as a young adult. Okay, it becomes a different type of reality and experiences that may bring on a certain different level of, you know, pain or suffering or something positive as well it, uh, it's all there so um i'm paying attention to a lot of behaviors and actions of people that's what i do anyway and i look and i look at uh certain things that happen on the social media i look at how things happen in reality and the reality of things meaning the grounding of the realities of my situation and like i said over here is peaceful in my environment because i created a peaceful environment when I go out to the park, it's peaceful in my little surrounding there, my space of surrounding in that park. A lot of people are there. You know, some are sleeping, some are talking, some are playing uh, with the equipment. You know, some are, a lot of people are just doing this or that and the other in that in the parks. And in most parks, from now on, that's what's going to happen because of the massive, massive overpopulation. You know, our parks are not going to be, our parks are going to be used for certain purposes, a park's going to be used for certain purposes, you know. Our, um, and sadly, you know, our groundwater is going to be used for certain purposes as well, you know, on the coastal sides of things. And, um, you know, just pay attention to what's happening to the, the fish, the vegetation around the coastal areas. Pay attention to that, especially on the East Coast. You know, pay attention to your coastal your coastal regions, and, and be honest with yourself. You know something's going on. You know something's not right. When you have dead fish, why would you have dead fish? Okay, that's serious. That's destruction to have dead fish uh, come up on your coast, float up on the coast, and then you claim, you, you, and a lot of these so-called quote-unquote scientists are attempting to uh, explain something else. They know that's there, there's something devastating happening there to have dead fish okay that warning was given thou uh, hundreds of years ago about the sea level okay the uh, the environment temperatures in the oceans okay the surging uh, the surging of coastal areas all right so pay attention to that scientists you know and so let's go to like i said about the consciousness power now we individually have consciousness power individually. Now we it, to be then ideal situation is have a collective of consciousness power where we're working in, you know, con we're connecting with each other. You know, we're considerate of others' thoughts and feelings and emotions. We do everything in our power to not interfere with someone's thoughts, emotions, and feelings because our thoughts are the ones that cause all of that interference because we have this swinging weight of, of energy that's bouncing off of everybody, interfering with everybody. Now, if we were in a proper population of people, it wouldn't interfere as such. It would be more of a, a flowiness, a calmness, and you know, not an interference, not a destruction, which we have now because we have too many people and our energy and our thoughts are all over the place 
frailing all over the place. So, so short circuiting, short circuiting all over the place. It's just it's like an out of control amount of energy, like lightning, actually. Okay, pay attention to these kind of things. Um. So, but with your consciousness powers, like I said, each one of us have individually in, individual consciousness power. We, if we were taught properly hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, millions of years ago possibly, we would know the power of our consciousness and how our consciousness heals us. Our consciousness uh, n nurtures us. Our consciousness helps us to develop. Our consciousness helps us to evolve. Does the evolution of the consciousness. You know, our consciousness is as powerful than, you know, any doctor that have ever existed ever on this planet. But we have improperly used that consciousness. And uh, like I said, it also has been suppressed, that power of our consciousness. So I put out um, on my podcast about a, a gentleman back in the 1800s, I think, Rasputin. His name is Rasputin. There's not going to be a lot about him, but he was murdered because that's that's suppression as well. His 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 capabilities, uh, his uh, abilities and skills were proven and documented. What he what he could do, but then they thought he was a witch, you know, sorcerer. They thought he was a devil, it, you know. They thought all of this stuff about him because he was able to help teach people how to think for themselves, and that became a threat. And that's probably why he was murdered, shot right between the eye. Okay, he was murdered. Why Why would he be murdered? Okay. So, yes, there has been for hundreds of years, thousands of years, maybe even longer, a, 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 a literal attempt to suppress the power of our consciousness and what our consciousness can do. If properly nourished, properly cultivated, properly developed, and that's why I, you know, you see me pointing back here with the penal gland. The penile gland has uh, a correlation with it, electronic, I mean, electrical co coordination with that. You know, the energy and how the energy flows and how the energy is dispersed and how powerful it is and how simple it is, you know. So, because we are, we are a part of creational energy, which is sounds and tones. Energy is sounds and tones. We're part of that creational energy. At the same time, we have, you know, a part piece. I mean, we have a part piece of the creational energy that 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 uh, connects us to the the grand scale of it all, whatever people want to call it. And then at the same time, we are, you know, we are physical for a reason, just like you know, just like a flower blooms for a reason. Pay attention to nature. Get the answers from nature, okay? Uh, rely more on nature to help guide you and to heal you. You need to be healed before any other uh, evolutive type of experiences come in your life. You know, if you if you keep suffering and, and, and going over ruminating, because that's what you do about what happened to you when you were 5-year-old, when you were 10-year-old, 15, you know, Okay? So the power of our consciousness is uh, suppressed for a reason because once you, re once you regulate that, once you activate that, no one can touch it. No one. Okay? No one can touch it. You know, yes, people are going to attempt to harm you. People are going to attempt to bother you. People are going to attempt to harass you and stuff like that. But you'll be, you'll be able to manage it with the proper... Uh, disbursement of your consciousness power. Your consciousness power can heal you. Can heal you. And I can help, like I said, guide you there. But, you know, so at some point in the near future, I'm going to start offering some of my services to see if I can assist and help people to find, you know, to find meaning in life to evolve the consciousness. That's why we're here. And I'm going to come back at a, at a later date as well and talk about um more more about our um 
you know, when our physicalness, okay, and 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 the passing of our physicalness and the becoming of our physicalness, I want to go back more into that to to give you some, you know, give you some 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 interesting information about that. It's powerful. You, if you knew the certain things that that were available to your consciousness, I mean, via your consciousness, you would be God. Sorry. <laughs> You would be amazed. And like I said, you wouldn't need a third party of anyone. You wouldn't need lecturers. You wouldn't need messengers. You wouldn't need prophets. You wouldn't need preachers, pastors. You wouldn't need that oratory type of of uh, messengers to tell you anything. You would know it. Instead of them telling you stuff, you'll be able to work more in a cohesive fashion with each other, no matter what your title is, because we see each other as equal. We see each other as as you know, like I said, it starts out I, we, and us. We're all in this together, okay? But that's a, that's a long way off, unfortunately. Uh, there's so much that has to be regulated, okay, neutralized. You know, we got that con- encasement of negativity that surrounds this planet, you know? And as we are ushering into the dawning of the age of Aquarius, February 3rd, 2029, that's gonna be a significant cosmic event but it may not uh, it may not be recognized by the majority of the planet. I told you something happened in 2022, 2023, and of course, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna say, nah, nobody will believe me anyway. <laughs> and so, and if I say it, then you have people coming through. You know what? I knew that. I knew that they'll they'll start raising their hands. Yeah, I told you guys that first. I knew that was gonna happen. I told you. I told you. I told you that on February. Blah, blah, blah. You have all that shit coming through. <laughs> it's kind of funny how we act and behave. Pay attention to that. Again, you're gonna have these people that were spewing out nothing but hatred. Towards human beings, believe it or not, calling them stupid, calling them crazy, calling them morons, calling them idiots, and meaning that. Not just having a general conversation about it and talking it among friends. Yeah, we could say a lot of things among friends and among friends where we're just having conversation. But no, they spout that shit out into the universe. Okay? You know, their hatred towards women, their hatred towards anyone that's different. Okay, my responsibility is different. I want people to get out of their damn confusions about stuff. We're in a massive, massive, massive confusion about biological biological uh, attributes as well as um, everything else. We just have to clear up the clear up the contradictions and clear up the confusion, but be kind and gentle about it. Okay, and I keep telling people do it in the right settings. I wouldn't do it on a social media platform because all it does is uh, intentionally cause people to, you know, kind of pe- uh, tear it apart, you know, and, and project their own narrative about things, manufacture their own narratives. I told you, most of that stuff on the social media platform and on the social media in general, a lot of it is manufactured, okay? The imagings manufactured. The, the narratives manufactured, fabricated, tell your own story. Yes, AI is taking over our images, our voice, you know, and they're paying attention to our patterns and behaviors. But once you've developed and activated your consciousness powers, not even AI can touch you. That's the secret. Okay, that's the importance of, well, not necessarily a secret. Let's, let's not call it a secret. That's the power of the suppress consciousness abilities, okay? When your consciousness abilities have been activated and function, functioning properly, you can um, apply all of your sensing, find out if something is reasonable, rational. You're going to still make mistakes. I mean, you know, it's, you're going to still make mistakes, and that, that's irrelevant of what I'm saying. But you're going to recognize, okay, something is not, Something doesn't look right, something doesn't sound right, something doesn't feel right about a lot of these things on the social media platform. So a lot of it is manufactured, some of it is, a lot of it is fab- fabricated, 
A lot of it is a way to in, engage in back and forth, it, it, to engage in um, devi- divisiveness. You know, it's all a game. Everything's a game. Toys. It's to measure, okay, what group is saying this? What group is saying that? I told you. They have these type of devices or technology that they've had for for a while since the inception that monitors our behaviors and actions and patterns. But they made the mistake to turn that over to artificial intelligence. So now artificial intelligence is going to expose the, the, the ones plagiarizing, the ones lying, the ones uh, fabricating their skills and abilities, the ones lying and manipulating and being deceptive about their knowledge and what, and what books they've read, you know, what they've done in school. It's going to all come out. How they fabricated, have they, how they fabricated their resumes, claiming to gone to this school, gone to that school, graduated from this school, graduated from that school. I told you when I used to be in the clubs back in the nineties, you know, you know, in the clubs dancing. Well, I can't dance, but in the clubs, they were selling uh, MBAs. They were selling them for ten thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken, back then. You don't think they're doing that now? Come on. You know, I met a, you know, back in the 90s, as a matter of fact, before stuff started happening, because that's when we had some type of, some type of shift. And I think it's because of the wars. I told you that's what war does to our consciousness. It shifts our consciousness to be more aggressive and violent and dangerous. But there was a lot of progression. People were progressive. I told you about this one city. They were progressive. And they were uh, setting great standards, but the mistake was made. I know this is controversial to say that is is that they attempted to. They were progressive, but then they attempted to, they were indoctrinated to believe they needed to be traditional. And so, what does traditional mean? Bringing in you know all these babies into the world, you know, have everybody's breeding animals, you know, attempting to be traditional, which no one really understands what that means. Progress when you're progressive, in my opinion. Let me look that up before I go. That means that you are stepping out on different grounds. Let me see what they have in here about what it means. Because you have people in the political sphere saying they're progressives. Anything but. Anything but. They're just using that because it's different from being what Democrat, Republican, Independent. So they want to say that they're progressives. Let's see what it means, what it says. I mean, it's commercial. Everything's commercialized. Even progression, you know, progressive, I should say. <sighs> Let me see. Let me go back up. Mm-hmm. You know, in other words, we've allowed the commercial um, environment to take over every meaning of every word we have. It's about selling, selling, selling. Yeah, progressive moving forward, advancing, you know, continually, continuously, um, you know, moving forward, you know, open to or favoring new ideas, anything but, new methods, anything. That's all b- a bunch of smoke and mirrors, okay? The, the so-called calling themselves progressives, smoke and mirrors, all right? It's all commercialized. It, it's about... Um, gaining uh, gr- is about greed. Is about you know spinning and, and um, you know spinning, fabricating. You know. So, just wanted to share that. I have a lot more stuff to share at some point. You know, they claim that yeah, yeah, with the progressives. Um, yeah, we got li- liberals and. You know, all, all of this, all of it is nothing more, nothing less than commercial, uh, exp- you know, that's how they co- explain it in a commercial fashion. And o- in other words, how they can make more money off of certain words. Words are, unfortunately, words are energy, but words also are uh, financial gains. Just like money is energy, financial gain, greed, all that shows up to the surface. But it's hidden, you know, it's, it's part of the hidden hands. 
Okay? So I wanted to share that this, mor this morning. Almost coming up on the afternoon here on the West Coast. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, you know, handle my business. But this is a, um, like I said, a third edition of the, um, what do I call it? <laughs> oh, gosh. It, you know, it gets funny sometimes. <sighs> it's, um, this is the third edition of on my YouTube channel. Yeah, special edition part three. This is special edition part three on this uh, Tuesday. Yes, April the 2nd, 2024. What you say? I hope everyone is enjoying themselves again, you know, getting to the bottom of what is really going on and do everything in your power to understand yourself, heal yourself, and your consciousness will do the rest. Your power will increase once you heal yourself, okay, your consciousness will then release more ideas, release more inspiration, and you can continue to move forward and evolve your consciousness, okay? Peace and love, everybody, and trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>